Right, my commiserations to all of you that have been affected by this cold weather we're having at the moment. Here in East Yorkshire, at least for now, we seem to be getting off fairly lightly. We've not had any snow, but it is damn cold. In fact, my beard froze solid this morning while I was walking the dock. Now, to that end, I've not really been able to get out to do the outdoor filming that I really wanted to do for this video today. People have been asking for more on the Boba Black, so today I'm going to give you the Boba Black. But with the freezing fog and the black ice, I don't particularly relish sweeping bits of it up off the public roads, so it's going to be a sort of a captive video today. Now, quite some time ago, I reviewed the Motone Custom CNC Machine Union Jack radiator cover for the water-cooled twins. I did, and I still do now, consider that this is actually the nicest custom radiator cover on the market. What's become apparent since then is that Triumph have actually installed slightly different sized radiators on some of the different models, even though the engines are pretty much the same. Something that Merton wasn't expecting and the information simply wasn't there at the time for them to be able to identify that. Now when the Bobber, the Bobber Black and the Speedmaster were released, it was soon discovered that the radiators were fractionally wider than those on the T120. So although this radiator cover did fit it, there was a little bit too much of a gap at either side. Most customers didn't care, but Merton did. So they set about designing and producing a wider version to fit the Bobber, the Bobber Black and the Speedmaster. To be honest, unless you put them side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's exactly the same quality and exactly the same style as the original. The frame and the Union Jack design is CNC machine from aircraft grade aluminium. A bold and expensive move, but it does provide a superior quality accessory. The actual grill inset itself, once again, is purpose made. They haven't just gone out and bought in some mesh and then stuck it onto the back. It's a component that's specifically designed and machined to fit these guards. Both brackets are separate and once again, the machine from aluminium billet. And as with the original versions, I've found the fit and finish to be absolutely perfect you'd struggle to get a razor blade in between all the joints. Now, supplied with each kit is a set of six stainless steel screws. The whole design is intended to be as low profile as possible. So these screws, to be honest, are not much more than grub screws, they're very short. There's three for the top bracket and three for the bottom bracket, and I would recommend using a medium strength Loctite when assembling them, just to make sure nothing shakes loose during the riding season. Now, fitting this cover is simplicity itself. It's just two Allen bolts, and I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by giving you a blow-by-blow -blow account of how to do it. The original factory guard is a very cheaply made pressed aluminium piece. And just like on the T120, it doesn't really do the bike justice. In my view, this radiator guard from Motone Customs redresses the balance. It's got a cool, understated look about it that doesn't scream and shout that it's there, but it does delight the eye on closer inspection with its crisp, detailed, custom quality. Now, by Moton's own account, they did make a bit of a mistake with the numbers on the original version. They'd manufactured and stocked a specific number of these guards that they thought would last them a whole season. But then, to their surprise, they sold out in six days. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the first time there's been any sort of publicity relating to this part. Although it has been available and in stock at Motown Customs for about a week and a half. It looks as though history might be about to repeat itself. I spoke to Motown Customs yesterday 
and the did divulge that half the stock has already gone so be aware there may be in short supply but i've got no doubt they will do the best to get new stocks in as quickly as they possibly can i can't think off the top of my head of any other radiator guard available for any of the water cooled twins that fits the bill either quality wise or style wise quite like this custom part now i'm going to cut this video here because to be quite honest i don't think there's much more i can tell you about it that i didn't cover in the original review and i will leave a link at the top for you to revisit that if you want to i don't want to bore you by just repeating everything that i've said before now i will leave a link in the video description down below for this part on motone customs website once again thanks very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've found it useful if you have enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel there will be more bobber stuff coming up in the near future as soon as i can get my hands on it and just as soon as i've sorted out the paddock stand i will also be doing a decat and x pipe fitting video i will of course be back next week so until then please ride safely especially in this weather and i'll see you soon